Hello, Internet, and welcome back to the Story Nook. Go grab your tea, your hot cocoa, your coffee, your water, whatever it is you want to drink today. And we will be going through a fun little thread that I just saw on Reddit. Uh, because, hello, it was great. Just the title of it. Now, this is more of an Ask Reddit thread, but it is posted in Tells from your server. And it's titled, Who are the rudest customers you've met? And why is it Pentecostals? Or any church people, for that matter. And I love that, because I have so many rude customer stories. So many. So I'm excited to read other people's. So let's go ahead and... Read the first one. After 20 years in the business, this is probably my favorite story. When it on a table of three, the restaurant was brand new, opened maybe a month. Scratch kitchen so the food was quality and took time. Very busy because it was new and people wanted to see what was going on. Spoiler alert, it closed about a year later because we can't do quality in Flint. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, I don't know why. I'm presuming by Flint you mean Flint, Michigan, and by quality I'm pretty sure you're referring to the water that our poor government has not fixed your poor infrastructure, and I am so sorry. Everyone, please go look at the Flint, Michigan water crisis if you are uninformed about it, because I am just a dumb bitch on the internet and have no right to be, like, informing you about it, but it's bullshit. We need to fix our infrastructure in this damn country, but none of our government officials want to do it because it costs money, and they're assholes. This lady stood up and screamed at me that their food had ta been taking an hour, checked the ticket, and it had been 45 minutes, but the place was packed, and that was the average ticket time at the moment. Thankfully, my manager was there, just so I just walked away. Other tables that weren't even mine actually stopped me to see if I was okay. I always find it nice when, like, other customers are just like, okay, this lady's being a bitch. Are you okay? Do, do you need help? We're not going to be assholes to you. We, we just want to make sure you're doing a good job. And I love when, when that shit happens. Q months later, at another restaurant, maybe 20 minutes away, and I recognized her. Warned her server, and sure enough, she was difficult. Then a few months later, she happened to be there again on my last day. I waited until I was on my way out the door and stopped at her table and said, You probably don't remember me, but I waited on you at X, and I just wanted to say, You're an incredibly rude person. I got texts from a coworker saying she lost it and demanded to know who I was, but they could honestly say, She doesn't work here. The stupid part is that I worked for another restaurant a few months later, can't remember if I waited on her or just delivered the food, but I recognized her and she didn't remember me. Just a dumb, self-absorbed, miserable bitch who feels like she needs to spread her miserable bitchiness around. I'm a bitch, but I'm a bitch on the internet. And so I try not to be a bitch in real life. And I love this comment. Why would she remember you? You're the help. <laughs> Just the ultimate sarcasm. But yeah, lazy bitch. Your last sentence is the worst part of this job. There's people who scream at us, belittle us, insult us, and we remember that for a long time. They do not remember us. Their behavior is normal to them. And that is so true. I've had so much bullshit from working at in customer service, and I only did, like, three customer service jobs. One I don't really count, because I was only there for, like, a week in training. And it was just... Hello, trauma, and, like, almost what feels like stress, anxiety since system. So I always make sure, like, every time the waitress comes to our table before she leaves, I say thank you. I once managed a restaurant, and towards the end of the night, I had changed into my street clothes and was on my way out when a staff member told me a customer wanted to complain. I recognized the woman. I had had a difficult interaction with her, and she was quite rude. She proceeded to complain to me about me and didn't remember at all that I was the same person. The fuck, lady. JFC, I had... The other side of this is always funny, too. I've had customers say something like, 
Well, the bartender on Tuesdays lets me get happy hour past six. Ma'am, I am the Tuesday bartender, and I do not. <gasps> customers always do that shit. They'll, like, they'll lie. I've also had customers walk up to me and go, you don't remember me? And I'm just like, uh, no, bitch. I see so many of you fuckers. I don't remember any of y'all. There, there was, like, a few people, like, I remember. Like, if I saw them, I don't think I would remember them now, what they looked like. Like, I might feel vaguely familiar, but, bitch, I wrote down shit that y'all did, and I've got the blog posts with the dates and the times, so fuck off, fucker. <laughs> Flint, probably my aunt. My Flint family is something else. Something in the water? Oh, shit, calling back to that Flint water crisis. Hey, anyone want to write to a senator and see if they'll fix our infrastructure? I doubt it, but if we all bug them, maybe they might. I worked B-O-H and F-O-H behind the house, back of house and front of house. My brain is just like, what do these acronyms mean? And my brain is just like, oh, now oh, I remember. At a place where actual celebrities frequented. The absolute worst were the influencers or local celebrities. Like, I've literally served Gordon Ramsay and he was an angel and was super happy with his meal and service. Meanwhile, local celebrities were fussy, never happy with anything, always demanding comps, like, fuck those assholes. We never give an inch, so they couldn't take a mile. We had tremendous reviews from people who totally mattered, be it local slash regulars or legit celebs. I can't stand influencers or people who feel that they're locally famous. Like, the fuck? I am a YouTuber. I currently, my views are shit. But, like, on average, I make between 10 to $15 a month from YouTube. I know for a fact, you bitches, don't give a fuck. Like, I'm not an influencer. I'm pretty sure, like, for the longest time, my LinkedIn just said YouTuber. I think I've changed it to artist or writer. Because, like, I'm currently working on a short story that I think I might want to make a comic book. But I'm not sure. But, the, like, those people, it's just, like, have you just never worked customer service one and two, are, is your head so far up your ass that you think you're all mighty, all important? And I get what Gordon Ramsay is an angel when he goes out to eat, or at least he fucking should be, because, bitch, you've worked in the kitchens before, you know what it's like in a busy restaurant. And I'm pretty sure you're not going to bitch out unless you find, like, glaring fucking mistakes and, like, basic amateur shit that a professional shouldn't be making. Tin Pot Tyrant. It's an old meme where the toddler sits on his butt in his mother's kitchen wearing a saucepan as a hat, commanding his army of little tiny army men. He's the lord of all his subjects. Interrupt him. Tell him it's time for his nap and he will angry cry. Gordon was happy with his food. Are you American? I only ask because in the U.S. version of his shows, he's a complete dick. Because no way would we appreciate the British version where he actually takes the time, understand why the restaurant is failing, to help people working there and get a footing back in their com community again. I hope he's as nice in real life as he seems to be in the British version of his shows, not the American versions. Side note, if anyone would like to tell me where I could watch the ver British version of Gordon's shows, because I like Gordon Ramsay's shows. However, there are certain shows like Hell's Kitchen and Kitchen Nightmares and those things where he's obviously being a dick and the producers are... The producers love the fucking drama, so they don't really show him being a fucking person. You can kind of see him being more of a person like Master Chef, but he's really just there the judge and you're there to see the other contestants. Gordon Ramsay, the chef, is a persona for media. That persona gets ratings. I imagine that when there isn't a camera set following him around, he's a proper gentleman. He's amazing in real life. He's an ass on Hell's Kitchen because that's the premise for the show. You should check out Master Chef Junior. He's so sweet on that one. Yeah, because he's dealing with kids who are professional chefs. I feel like a lot of people forget that Hell's Kitchen, like, these are people who should be, like, established careers uh in like the food industry and kitchens and they're just trying to get further along 
But then they come along and they make these... I get it, it's a high-stress situation, but they come along and they're making these tiny fucking mistakes and, like, fucking raw chicken. And they're sending it to Gordon to put on a plate to serve to an actual human being. So I get why he gets so angry and mad and fussy, but also, like, it's American rating. Yes, I'm American, and yes, Gordon is actually really awesome in real life. The U.S. version of, uh... Kitchen Nightmares was him basically playing a role. He's not like that in person, thankfully. I'm sure that if the food or service wasn't up to snuff, he would have politely said something and not called anyone a donkey. <laughs> Fucking Coral. I know you know the owner, Hein. Everyone knows him. That's probably Carol, and I read it as Coral, and I'm so sorry. <laughs> Everyone knows him because he's always here and there's a fuck all people in this backwater town. I don't care if he's told you you're over the phone, you didn't have to pay for your bottle of meat, but I need to actually speak to him before I can comp that for you. Stomp your feet and glaring at me won't make it any quicker. Fuck you, Coral. Even your name annoys me, you posh twat. Is it Coral or Carol? I'm not sure. Their name is Coral now, because that's what I read. Yeah, people who are really BFFs with the owners, text them on the way. The owner gives you a heads up and picks the section to make sure everything goes well and communicates. The owner running into you who in the grocery store and telling you to come by sometime is them trying to make money off of you. They won't remember you. They are nice to everyone, so people will think they are special and frequent their establishments. Yep. That sounds about right. I was at a small family-owned business in a small town until very recently everyone claimed to know the owner and asked for favors. They all got the same board. Have him call me. Motherfucker never called me. Even when I put his sister and nephew on a three-month wait list. Yeah, small towns. Being Facebook friends with the owner doesn't get you special treatment. I thought the name was a nod to The Walking Dead, but I guess not. I'm going to click on this and hope I don't get a book. Hey, Coral, why do you hate Russian dolls? Coral, they're so full of themselves, Coral. They're so full of themselves, Coral. I don't know what this is from, but it's funny. After church crowd. This is the one. Like, didn't you just sit in the house of God to wash away the sins and got told to love thy neighbor yet you're being a bitch because there's a 50 minute wait for a table like make it make sense they just got all their sins washed away <laughs> they need to start collecting new ones for next week you can't be forgiven if you haven't sinned that that's hilarious you know how hard it is to read that line oh no oh what happened um, stuff happened. I clicked the button. I didn't mean to click it. You can't be forgiven if you haven't sinned yet. Only if they're Catholic. Who said anything about Catholics being forgiven? They've had nothing to feel guilty about. Saw the response. The Catholic guilt is strong. There are some Christians who don't treat other people like shit. Never wait on them after church, though. Me either. Jesus died for their sins. If they don't sin, then he died for nothing. <laughs> no, they went there to be reassured of their su superiority over anyone who isn't in their cult. And who can't afford to fucking get off on a fucking Sunday. Yep, that can cunts. Or who will be in their vault. Yes, I loved waiting on them, I roll. I had one guy tell me I could be in church if I wasn't working. Bitch, I was scheduled for this. If I'm not working here, who the fuck is going to get you your hash browns, fucker? Used to get that shit every Sunday working pharmacy. You shouldn't be working on the Lord's Day. Well, Barbara, if we're not here, who's going to fill your perk cassette so you can get your godly fix? That one got our DM in to bitch. That one got our DM 
in to bitch me out. He told me he could fire me, so I told him he hadn't fired anyone for incompetent staff, threatening other staff, or anything else. So if he chose to make an example out of me, he'd be speaking to me through my attorney. I did not get fired. I did quick sleeks, blah, 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 my brain. I did quick quit six weeks later. Technically, the Lord's Day is Saturday. Not if you're a Pentecostal addict. Says right in the Bible, remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. God rested on his labors on the seventh day, and he decreed that he his believers do the same. Saturday is the seventh day. I can never find in the Bible the verses where it says that Christians get to pick and choose which parts they are going to follow and which parts to ignore. I know it must be in there somewhere. Right? Wait. Saturday, seventh day? So that would make Sunday the first day. But because we treat Monday like it's the first day of the week. You would think, when I was a practicing Catholic, I went to Saturday Mass. One, I didn't want to get up early on Sunday morning if I wasn't working. Two, it was way more convenient. Three, I'm much more awake mid to late afternoon. Some of the hardline Catholics bitched about having mass on Saturday. Nope. You're supposed to go to Sunday mass or it doesn't count. They never have an answer when you ask them. You think God has a tally sheet and that determines whether or not you're getting into heaven that's one of the main reasons my mom is so glad to be retired from the parish school people are vicious gossips and would delight in asking her do you know what your daughter said she finally snapped that i was in my 30s with a mind of my own and she certainly didn't control me put an end to that quickly we live in a small town i hate it during the New Testament, the Sabbath was still Saturday. In the book, the Acts, they changed the Sabbath day to Sunday to commemorate the day Jesus was resurrected. But there are lots of Christians that don't believe in going to a restaurant or any business on Sunday since they believe that in a perfect world, everyone would ha have Sunday off to spend time with their families or as a mental health day. This is an interesting fact that I didn't... Yeah. Sorry, David, number five... Hold on. 500,097, but I'm working here because your ass is in that chair. So what completely against your religion, slop, what should I have burnt for you? <laughs> I love that. I'm so sorry I giggled for all of it. One time I walked up to a table to get refills to get them more chips and I was holding my shoulder because it was hurting me and the dude was like, oh, what's wrong? Do you want us to pray for you right now? Like, one, no, that makes me very uncomfy. And two, read the room, Brandon. We have people piling in through the door. I don't have time for a prayer session, my guy. To be fair, I had a couple of regulars who after church came in and were very kind. They brought us gifts at holidays, were patient and great tippers. Very rare, lol. On that same note, when tables pray at the worst times, like you walk up holding food, and you're like, y'all wait on prayer circle till after I put your food down, please, because I'm too polite to say anything else. I grew up in the cult of penny costals. I can arrest... I can attest to their rudeness. I believe it's because their lives are so miserable they just want to make everyone else miserable. Self-righteous hypocrites. Thank God I am got out of that. That would be the way. Why did I not think of this while I was in it? Why not quote Bible verses at them to shame them? They probably have no shame, but I bet it would piss them off to no end. And what are they going to say to your manager? She quoted the Bible at me. They're... Deuteronomy 25.4 Do not muzzle an ox in its stretching. Matthew 2.12 And everything do unto others what you would have them do unto you. Mark 10.43.44 Whoever wants to get a, be great among you must be your servant, and whoever wants to be first must be the servant of all. Luke twenty two twenty six. The greatest among you should be like the youngest, and the one who leads like the one who serves. Edited because I actually posted it before I was finished. I have never 
read the Bible before. Like, I think I read a couple of things, like a few lines of the first one. But yeah. There's a thin line between Saturday night and Sunday morning. Jimmy Buffett. Drunk teachers with no service experience at s are some of the worst. Ah, fucking yeah. No lie. There's always that one that gets too drunk and becomes the creepiest, scariest person, usually pretty sexually aggressive and ends up puking. We have these two teachers who come in once or twice a week, and I dread seeing them. They come in during our busiest nights. They cake up a booth for like four hours. They spend the first three and a half hours drinking. Then they finally order food, and guess what's the order? One quesadilla or, one in or like one enchilada. I am a teacher. An old millennial in my early 40s and work in service. And I can attest this is true. I am constantly schooling other teachers on how to tip. Yeah, I, I hung out with a teacher. Uh, a friend uh, married a teacher's son. And that teacher was kind of a bitch. And her daughter has gone in. Like, her daughter's never worked any other job that I know of. And she's gone into teaching, and she's a kind of a bitch, too. And I don't know how she... They both are at restaurants, but they're definitely not pleasant to hang out with. I am a teacher, and two of my coworkers are terrible. I won't go out if they're going to be there. Dude, Gen X and old millennial teachers are seriously the fucking worst. Like, the church crowd was generally very kind, even if they didn't tip well. These absolute bitches, because they are always women, on the other hand, no thank you. Thank you for hitting my inner server drama button. That hasn't happened for a second. And that's why I don't go out with other women my age who have never worked in service anywhere. Hell no, bitch. You're overprivileged as fuck, and you work as a hobby. You're rude to everyone. I've worked retail, pharmacy, billing, and now switchboard. I'm not going to the gas station with you. Went out for dinner with a now former friend, amazing food, great service, lovely ambiance. So imagine my surprise when she wanted to go online and rank them two stars. Me? What? Why? Everything was awesome. Her? Yeah, but it was like so expensive. Me? Uh, yeah, I guess, but we knew that when we made the reservation, right? Her? Yeah, but still. I just think I would have had a bad experience as the prices weren't this high. Infuriating. I convinced her not to go through with it, but it really was the beginning of the end of that friendship. Like, the fuck, bitch? Good God. I'm willing to pay for experience of no screaming kids, delicious, well-prepared, and presented food, gorgeous ambience, and staff who make rude customers leave. I will get out of my usual day wear, G wear of jeans, sweats, leggings, and a t-shirt and sneakers, and dress nicely. I am a young millennial and a teacher and work in a restaurant, and it's so true. When we do staff meetings after school, even at peak drunkenness, I find myself apologizing, cleaning up, and tipping after them. And my husband is here, so I will end this video now.